upgrading the longsword plus one. Just like that, we upgraded. I don't know why I would downgrade the sword, but I can apparently. I can also use hardstone to upgrade it again, which I do not have any hardstone or enough souls. Alive. So guys, welcome back to Let's Play Demon's Souls. In the previous episode, we got past some dragons, stole some items from near dragon, saved a guy, accidentally attacked said guy, and he still is fine with us, even though we attacked him twice by accident. Eh. And we also got past a bunch of weird shielded goo monsters, and now we're moving on to the next area. What I'm assuming is a boss. I don't know. What I do know now is that uh, between episodes I came here and grabbed a few souls so that I could, uh, uh, you know, buy the upgrade to my sword. Now that I'm dealing extra damage, honestly, I'm just feeling really good about how I'm playing. Even though I just took much damage. Yeah, see, I can just beat these guys in two hit normal hits. One shot them with a strong attack. Oh, that's a good feeling, being able to kill these guys so easily. See, just one shot that guy when I dash at him. I'm gonna make use of this. I don't see anything in there. All the same, appearances can be deceiving. Do it anyway, enter the fog. Autos. Oh, hell no! Nope, 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 nope. This is not okay. Maybe I'm supposed to be grinding for items, for healing items? Can I just leave? I can't leave. That's not okay! Maybe I'm supposed to be grinding for the fire items. Because I haven't tested that out, but I have a feeling like these guys would burn easily. And now I'm starting to be able to see his core. So maybe I have to wait out and then attack the core? Maybe I really do have to kill all of these guys. This is not a good start. I was expecting some big monster, not an army of these guys. They don't even deal much damage, but the problem is that there's so many of them, and that they have such high defense. They, always, they all kind of move in this weird con- Maybe it's just to get behind them. I, yeah, I deal a lot more damage from behind- oh, okay, I'm stupid. Nice to know that I'm kind of dumb. So there's a strategy to beat these guys more easily. And that is to not walk into the horde of them so they can all impale you. I need as much health as I can get. Killed another one. I like how they just introduced these enemies and already there's a boss based on them. Alright, um, take down these guys.
Wait, are they merging with the boss? They're not, right? I'm imagining that. Please tell me I'm imagining that. Sharp shard of hardstone. Oh. So I can get them from these guys. So I can actually grind on these guys in the other area and then get a bunch of shards of hardstone and upgrade my sword even further. Because I'm not sure if you can level yourself up in this game. Maybe your base stats are your only stats. And then you can upgrade the weapons. Which is a decent thing. It's what some RPGs do and I respect that but it's like oh my gosh why? I can't make myself too OP for them. Oh my gosh. Well, I just need to keep on moving. Taking so much damage, they don't drop healing items. I've killed most of them, though. Now that I know that, you know, their backs are their weaknesses. Because you know that wasn't obvious by the giant shield on their face. too much damage. I just keep missing because I'm so panicked. Ow. Oh. Someone's gun failed. Come on, you're gonna leak out more of them soon, right? Take a step back for a minute so I can get around him with my stamina. Okay, I think I know how to beat this guy. Giant goo monster formed up a bunch of smaller ones, typical in JRPGs and stuff, but they don't normally have giant shields. They're normally a bunch of weak enemies that put together make a strong enemy, but in this they're a bunch of like high defense enemies turned into a giant damage dealing monster tank. Luckily they're still slow, so I can knock them apart. Yeah, this guy's not difficult once you get the hang of him. And once you've you know, cleared out his cluster of hearts. See, I've already dealt with most of his uh, defense at this point. He's not so tough once you deal with him. Ooh, I almost. Back up for a moment, heal before I end up dying. Gotcha. Come on, get my stamina back. And the boss is down. If the demon is destroyed, you shall obtain the demon soul in a power that is beyond human imagination. You revived. You regained your body. Bring more souls, slayer of demons. Phalanx's trophy. And I get an arch stone. Lead demon soul. Let's return to the Nexus, guys. Oh my gosh, that was...
that was cool. <laughs> that was really cool. I want to call it an episode, even though, you know, I'm only, like, ten minutes into this, but that was cool. Boss battles are going to be fun in this game. Welcome back. Oh. Oh, it's you. Blindly. The monumental so awaits the above. I don't know why, but this kind of reminds me of Star Fox Adventures in the Krozoa Palace. The monumental will explain the nexus to thee. And I'm gonna assume that uh, I'm the first person ever to kill a demon here. And that everyone else is kind of useless to me. Alright, so I guess I keep heading up. Just gotta keep moving on up, moving on up. I do have one question though. What is that thing below my stamina bar? Bar. Ah! Really? Really? The monument, the monument. Oh my gosh. I am already dead again. I fell off a cliff. I just became human again. I just got my body back. And I already... F I already friggin' ruined everything. This where I need to be? Or is it higher up? Higher up, lower down. Where is it? Ah, my eyes itchy. We have long awaited you, Slayer of Demons. I am one of the Monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. There is something thou needest to know. Once, we too, a scourge of demons faced. In the distant past, under a benevolent rule, the world was united, owing to the soul arts. Until, a lust for power caused the awakening of the Old One. Across the land seeped a colorless deep fog, and the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Thanks be, we were able to lull the Old One back to his slumber, yet only after the loss of innumerable souls, and half the world lost, erased by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six elders with six precious archstones, one to the king of a small yet diligent land one to the king of the burrowers underground. Oh god, I'm bleeding. One to the wise queen of the oh god, great bad body knows. tower. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned souls. One to the shaman of the tempest-worshipping shadowmen. And the last to the great